Hi everyone, this is Jim Swanson of the Artist and Traveler painting series. This is the photo from Traveler Terry Deeker, a good artist friend of mine, uh, that has uh, sent me this photo to start uh, work on. Uh, I have a painting that I have started today and I was going to show you a few tips on it as I, I start to go through the finishing touches of it. Okay, here is the painting so far. Uh, got, got the most of the day in on it. Uh, it's a 18 by 24 or 24 by 18 painting. Um, one of the things I was going to show you is a lot of people have said uh, they like my knife work and stuff. They think my paintings are all uh, palette knife work, but no, they are really pretty much all strokes. And uh, there is some palette knife in it, but most of it is done with uh, the brush and a lot of paint. And uh, that's one of the things I was going to talk about is the thickness of paint, the use of paint. And uh, one of the things I like to do with my paintings is sort of use the painting as sculpture almost, uh, using a very thin, thin colors or thin darks. And then when I get to my whites, they are very thick and uh, I try to almost sculpt it. But one of the things I want to show you today about on finishing up a painting like this, it's pretty close, everything's pretty much there. Uh, I was gonna use one of my most expensive brushes in my kit on this painting. And I was gonna show it to you right now and here it is. Yep, that's it. One of my best uh, brushes is my fingers. That's what I do. Clean fingers. That's the, the, that's the key to this. Uh, keeping, them, keeping them wiped off, and keeping them clean, just to soften edges. That's one of the things about paintings, is cleaning up edges, and softening them, and creating your focal point even better. So that's what I'm going to be working on today. And uh, I will uh, be right back with a few areas that I've uh, worked on. Hey, here we are. Um, I've been in there with my finger and making some some soft adjustments, making some drawing differences and changes. A little defined. As you can see, I've been in here. I moved these things around a little bit. I softened the tree trunk and been working on these rocks down here, trying to blend them out. Because this is one of the areas you, I don't want. I really want the viewer to spend a ton of time on. I'd rather have them, uh, you know, really look at the focal point here of the, my darkest dark and my lightest light. Go there. But uh, I've been softening things, especially around the edges of the painting. I always soften around the edges because it's one of the best ways to keep the viewer in the painting. Instead of uh, looking off to the side of the painting, away from the painting, you know, uh, it's a great way to keep their interest you know in the in the middle of the painting and that's what I was going to show you right about here this area here I have a little tangent and I was just going to soften it by pushing in one this little rock here soften them in push them right into the make them a little a little different than it was you can do this only when the paint is really wet and one of the things I was saying about over here, keeping my lines off the edges. So, so they're soft edges. Okay, that's about it. This painting's almost there. I'll be done with it in a little while here. But I want to thank you for uh, joining me on this painting adventure. And uh, we will see you on down the road again.